Hi guys, today I have something pretty special for you. Some of you might have recognized it in my community tab. I just received the new DJI Mavic 3 Pro. In this video I take you with me and show you the entire unboxing. Additionally, I'm taking a closer look to the drone, doing some little tests and comparisons. At the end, I let the drone start for the very first time and show you some footage and what insane potential there is in the zoom capability. Believe me, this thing is awesome and brings a lot of fun. So let's not waste any more time with talking, but get started right away. If you like what you see, then help the channel to grow and subscribe. Here we go, that's the huge Mavic 3 Pro box. As you can see, I've decided to take the Fly More combo, including the DJI RC. Let's open it. First cut, removing the packaging film. Love this sizzling. Another cut and surprise, surprise, we have a bag and a little box inside. Okay, using this pad in order to see a bit better the size of each item. For sure, we are looking first into the paper box and what's inside there. Seems to be a lot of power cables for all imaginable sockets. Let me take this heavy one next. Um, okay, what's that big buddy? Ah, that's the power adapter to connect the charging hub. Another cable I missed before. And a flat box. Okay, cannot imagine what this might be. Mm, feels worthy. Gonna open it. Ah, that is the box of the ND filters. They look pretty amazing. Look how the light is reflecting. Okay, which one do we have here? That's the ND8. Here's the ND16, ND32, and last but not least, ND64. A bit bad to read upside down. Close it again. Pretty nice case. Okay, grabbing the gray shoulder bag, which should be a bit more interesting. Quality is pretty good. It's not leather, but polyester. The upper side is rough and the lower side plain. The back closure is magnetic. Now it's getting exciting. Gonna open it. A few things inside. First package looks like props. Yes, I was right, a lot of props. And as usual, they are marked on the cover with an A for front right and rear left. And the other side marked with a blue B for front left and rear right. Should be easy. Counts for each, putting them aside. Next one please, a smaller one. Two USB-C to USB-C cords to connect the RC and I guess the charging hub to the power adapter. And a pretty small one. including the two spare sticks for the RC. Okay, nice. Let's take out a bigger one. Feels like a paper box that have a lot of weight. I guess we are finding in here the batteries. Yes, number one of the lithium iron polymer battery which is pretty heavy. Want to weight it, gonna fade in a scale. What might be the weight of the battery? I'm curious. Oh, it is 331 grams. 
Okay, and the second lithium ion polymer battery. And as you can see, we have the CE marking as well as the UK CA marking. Who's next? The 100 watt battery charging hub with three slots. It will have the same function as all the hubs before and will recharge the batteries one by one. Okay, a bigger package. Ah, clear. This is the RC remote controller. It comes with a beautiful 5.5 inch full HD touchscreen display with 700 nits brightness. The sticks need to be mounted before in the moment they are attached to the back side. And for sure we have some paperwork. Starting with drones information notice. The accessories user guide the safety guidelines, the quick start guide and the Japan flight safety rules. Now let's come to the main component, the UAV itself, the Mavic 3 Pro. Here it is seen from the side and covered with the camera protection and from the bottom. Again from the side where Mavic 3 Pro is written. The color is dark gray, I would say. Let's remove the cam protection in order to get a clear view how it really looks like. It's just an easy click to be loosened on the back side and then you can take off the cover. Here we go. There is the beautiful triple camera front with a really big gimbal. Look at this amazing beast with a 4.3 CMOS Hasselblad cam, a 70mm telecam and a 166 mm telecam. Okay, shall we unfold it? Wow, stupid question. The unfolding system is the same as usual, but differs from the easy unfolding of the Mini 3 models. You first have to unfold the front arms and then the rear arms. Anyway, it is pretty easy. There is a foam left that keeps the gimbal in position while transporting, so gonna remove it. Big bad cam front looking insane. Let's look for the sensors, beginning on the bottom. Then the rear ones attached at an angle to cover as well the side of the drone. Same goes for the front ones. All in all the Mavic 3 Pro has a 360 degree collision sensor coverage. Here we have the big props that also have prop tips or wing tips in order to decrease the noise of the UAV. However, there's a sticker on the side which says 82 decibel. On the back side, we have the battery that can be loosened by pushing the two buttons left and right and then just pulling it out. Short look to the inside and putting it back in. Easy. And then we have the small lid on the back side, which is a bit fiddly. But behind we have a USB-C socket for recharging and the micro SD slot. I recommend to use an Xtreme card in order to have the right read and write speed for 4K 60 frame footage. Good so far, that's it from the unboxing. Now I'm pretty curious about the weight of the drone, so let's take again the scale. First I just put on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro without any battery. Okay, the scale shows 607 grams. According to the results from before, the battery had 331 grams. Added up, when inserting the battery, we should have 938 grams. And here we have the reason why the DJI Mavic 3 Pro is classified as C2 instead of C1, meaning in certain countries you should have an extra license to fly that drone. A pity, but it is what it is. Okay, next I just check the quick mounting system of the props that we already know from the Merrick series. You just need to push the props down and twist it a bit to remove it from the arms. As you can see there are three slotted holes on the arm above the motor. The counterpart are these three legs on the bottom of the props. The system is pretty easy and allows you to quickly change the props when damaged. Okay, let's come to the first flight ever done with the new drone. Honestly, I was a bit nervous, but everything worked as expected and already known from all my other DJI drones. Starting the motors. And throttle up to launch. 
The day I was testing was a beautiful day without any wings. As you can see, the drone is hovering perfectly right in front of me. And you might have recognized it, but compared to Mini 3, the Merit 3 Pro is pretty loud and noisy. Just saying, 82 DC volt. And here comes the first footage without any color grading or brightness settings. See that tower over there? It is about 1.2 kilometers away from the drone, which is 0.75 miles. Let's see how close we can get it without moving the UAV. The cuts in the scene arise when the drone is switching to the next camera. At least there are two, when switching to the 70mm and when switching to the 166mm. The later zoom levels are just digital up to a zoom level of 28 times. Even that the image is a bit blurry at the end, it's amazing how close I can get to the tower. Next flight position is above a beautiful rapid seat field and luckily a high speed train was moving in the background. So I tried to catch it a bit with the zoom. Let's see how well that works. Yeah, I think I need to practice a bit more, but the abilities of the Mavic 3 Pro are tremendous. Okay, and last but not least, some flight footage. And as already said, I haven't changed the colors or contrast or anything in order to show you the pure recorded data of the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Yep, and that's it for now. If you have questions on the Mavic 3 Pro, drop me a comment below. I will definitely do more tests and get familiar with the drone. Stay tuned if you don't want to miss any new videos. If you like the video, smash the like button and sub to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.